What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and this is Average Bros Adventures. For part three of this little series I'm making of my uh, Ryukin fishing charter experience. Uh, chances are if you're watching this video you've probably, probably already seen part one or part two. The first video, if you missed it, um, was all the fishing action from when we went out on the boat, caught the fish. Part two was how I prepared the ahi tuna, made some fresh shoyu and spicy poke. And now part three, we're gonna cook up the mahi mahi for you guys. The recipe we're gonna be using I found online is for a blackened mahi-mahi. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do actually is show you a little recap of when we caught the fish. It was awesome. So my first mahi-mahi catch, um, you'll see in the video, the first one I hooked, I actually did not land, brought it up to the boat, didn't gaff it in time, um, and the hook just popped out of his mouth when he made a jump. Uh, but the second one that I hooked, landed it, it was awesome. So without further ado, Check out the recap. <laughs> that I have laid out here and we actually started cooking. I'm gonna show you how I cleaned all the fillets the day that I caught it, uh, stored it, and then we'll get into how we're actually gonna prepare it today. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this mahi-mahi tonight as well because I have a ton of it, as you can see, and I don't want it to sit in blood all night. So we're gonna clean it all and then uh, continue with the cooking part tomorrow when I get a, gr get a griddle and all the ingredients and all that stuff. It's still golden. I've never cleaned Mahi Mahi before since this is the first one that I've caught, so we're just gonna kind of wing this. Learning experience for everyone. this part doesn't really interest you so um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off and skip to the cooking part because this is gonna take a minute okay so that was how I cleaned up all the fillets a little bit the night that we got back from the charter now let's talk about the ingredients we're gonna use today okay you can see it all laid out right here of course we have the two fillets that we're gonna be using I'm gonna clean them up a little bit more here in a second um, the first thing we're actually gonna do is make this spicy Cajun mix. Uh, these are the ingredients I'm gonna be using. Your standard salt, pepper, some chili pepper powder, 
garlic powder, paprika, not that. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much the mix um, that makes it considered blackened mahi-mahi. Uh, in addition to that, as we're preparing it, I'm gonna squeeze in some lime juice. We're gonna garnish it with some green onions that are chopped up. I'm gonna use some olive oil to cook it on the hot plate here. And then we're gonna serve it over some rice. Yes, I know it's minute rice. Um, again, I'm in the barracks, so limited supplies. And then an avocado and soy sauce, just in case we need it. First things first, I'm gonna clean up my two fillets. So all I'm gonna do for that is take four paper towels, fold them in half, Move the flies out of the way and place that down. Place the flies on the paper towel and pat them a little bit more dry. And then I like to leave it in here while I'm prepping the powder. And we'll come back to that later. Okay, next up is making the spicy uh, Cajun powder. So. I'm not using any measuring cups or anything like that. I'm just gonna kind of wing it, making a, what I think would be enough to completely cover both of my fillets. So first in the mixing bowl, we got the paprika, chopped up garlic powder, chili pepper, salt, and pepper. So I apologize, I had to switch out cameras real quick. As you can tell, the quality on this one's not as great. But my GoPro 8's not doing so hot right now. Then again, I do abuse it. Uh, it might be an issue with the SD card, but we'll figure that out later. Maybe it's time to upgrade. Uh, but for now, the old GoPro Hero is gonna have to work. Anyways, so there's the finished mixture right there. Uh, hope it's enough, we'll try it out. If not, you can always make more. So, what we're gonna do, take our two fillets, our two beautiful dried fillets, and start sprinkling on the mix. Should be enough. We're gonna try and completely cover all the outside. Okay, so that's how it's completely covered. Flip them over, do the same thing. Okay, done with that. Next time I'm going to turn on the hot plate to 350 and get some olive oil on there. Again, I have this at 350 degrees. Um, I haven't cooked anything on it yet. I'm gonna say probably about four to five minutes each side. While we wait, I'm gonna cut up the avocado real quick. Should've got some Corona. Not the virus. Right, while we wait, we'll get a little bit of lime juice on there. Okay, that's four minutes. We're gonna go ahead and flip them now. They'll cook through on the other side. Not to worry about that. Oh yeah. Ooh. That is exactly what we want right there. A little crispy. With that nice blackened look to it. 
Okay, let's check it real quick. Looks like both sides are getting crispy. I'm just going to cut into this thinner one here. And it looks like it's cooked through. Yeah, we don't want it to go too long. So, let's see, that was right exactly eight minutes right now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat down while I prepare the plate we're going to set this up on. I've got my plate with the bed of rice and the avocados. Put a little salt and pepper on the avocados there. Let's go ahead and grab our fish. Almost forgot, we're gonna garnish with a little bit of green onion. And the finished product. There's our finished product, guys. Not bad. Now, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this while it's still hot. Uh, if you like the video, please, uh, hit the like button, leave a comment. If you have any questions, let me know. I will leave all the ingredients that I use in the description. There's tons more recipes out there. This is just something real simple that I found online and figured it would work. Uh, these are the ingredients I was able to find out in town. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to Average Bros. Either way, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.